And there isn't an airport in Cheshire, but that didn't stop a plane from crash landing in a neighborhood there this afternoon. Good evening. First on Fox, it happened at 900 Boulder Road. The two people inside miraculously survived, and officials tonight say the snowstorm may actually have helped. Fox's Narmeen Chaudhary is live just a few yards from the crash site right now. Narmeen. Brian, I want to step out of the way and go right to what's going on right now. If you take a look behind me, there are crews from the FAA and several people from the town working on trying to plow a way to get the wreckage out of here. We are told that they are still investigating and that they expect a crane to come here shortly to carry that plane away. Now, it's too dark to show you right now, but you'll see in the video that we are about to show you that you could actually see the imprint of the nose of the airplane when it made impact with the snow. And that is exactly where this plane crashed, where a father and son managed to escape unharmed. Footprints in the snow show where the 25-year-old pilot and his 53-year-old father, also his co-pilot, walked just moments after they crashed their single-engine plane. Amazingly, the two were unscathed. Not a scratch. Father and son departed from New Bedford, Massachusetts, en route to Waterbury Oxford Airport. Authorities say they maintained radio contact until something went wrong. They had also radioed ahead to the airport, letting them know that they were having engine trouble, and as soon as... The airport lost them on the radar. They called our police department immediately. Still daylight at the time, the pilot told investigators he looked for a safe place to land when he came across this empty field. And it turns out the previous day's record-breaking snowfall may have saved their lives. He said it was soft as a pillow. We just put the plane right down in the snow and a very soft, safe landing. After flipping, the two managed to get out and walk less than 100 yards for help, where homeowners apparently heard nothing. Both, according to police, are understandably shaken after the crash, even as they broke down their story to investigators hours later. Definitely a happy ending. Right. Again, what you're taking a look at right now is uh, folks uh, really getting the plane ready, prepping it to take it away from here. They spent quite a bit of time plowing out some space because there's a lot of snow to get through before you can get to the plane. So they're working on getting that out of this yard. Now, there's been a lot of questions about what kind of experience the pilot had. We're told, police tell us, that the pilot is very experienced. And, of course, right now there's no indication that it was anything other than what they said it was, which was engine trouble. But, again, the investigation did have to be turned over to the FAA. Reporting live from Cheshire, I'm Normeen Childry for Fox, Connecticut. Shoreline businessman Charles Buck will soon return to court.